All right, folks, we're back at it here. Today is October 2nd, 2021. We recoded this stairway here a year ago. Um, if you could tell here underneath that white, that's a repair that was done with a rapid set mortar mix. And this is overlaid with just Portland and water. And I gotta tell you, in a year's time, I think this did all right. This did all right, but this stairway, this entrance, this is a church, and uh, this entrance here is not used that much. All right, so we're gonna take a walk. We're gonna go to the front steps. I got my stuff here ready today. And I've got rapid set mortar mix, but I don't like the way it dries. It dries too white. I didn't buy any color to blend in with it. So I think we're just gonna go ahead and overlay with mortar mix again. This is the front steps. This is after a year. And I'm not sure if you can really tell there's a lot of glare here. The sun's out. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon. And again, I think it held up relatively well, uh, except here in the middle, obviously is the front steps and this center job here. I had repaired it initially with, uh, again, rapid set mortar mix. And you can tell how it dries bright white. And there's, uh, it's peeling off there in the middle, so. I'm just gonna paint this one actually. I'm gonna paint it with the Portland instead of sponge floating it. So, go with a nice watery mix and see if we can make this happen. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I actually have any. Uh, I might actually have some um, instead of using water, I might have some concrete uh, bonding agent that in with the water so it's gonna be a couple parts series so this is part one I'm gonna go ahead and do that side step first um, and then I'm gonna come back come up here but I think uh, I think we're gonna go with the Portland again and hopefully I have some bonding agent to add in so we'll see how that works out but after a year I think this is pretty good I mean uh, this had a lot of hairline cracks and it's the color that we all want it to be that bright white that bright white's gonna really really be annoying here in the front so uh we're gonna see if we could do this over give it a good uh, another touch up here and maybe we'll have to touch it up every year but i think that's that might be the way to go on this one so come back with some uh some after shots here in a bit all right back at you here we just took uh some portland i did not unfortunately have any bonding agent so then we just went with portland and water here's my portland if you could mix your portland up into a real fine powder that would be great this has been sitting around for a couple of years at this point <clears throat> tried to break it up a little bit but uh that's not ideal so just took the brush a little bit of portland somewhat of a soupy mix you know not watery but kind of soupy Got one of these lantern flies here that we even got in the mix. Look at that bad boy. Sorry, man, you're supposed to kill these bad boys on contact, so I'll grab this sucker and stomp them out. He's a goner. And you just take your, your brush and you just, like the man says, like the legend Mike Haddock says, you just paint it with the Portland. That's that. I mean, um, I think for this spot, this is gonna work just fine. I'm gonna clean that little detail here with a, a wet wipe. Um, I mean, you saw the before. We're gonna cut these videos into one here. And uh, for this side step, I think it worked well. This is gonna, this is gonna be all right. Okay, we're gonna move on. We're gonna take our show on the road and we're gonna go to the front steps. This literally took like maybe 10, 15 minutes. I soaked it all in water. 
got my mix together. I started drying up my, I started mixing up my dry mix, let the water seep in right into the crevices. I mix my, uh, my mix in my small bucket, really small batch, started painting it on. And that's that. We're going to go uh, up to the front, do the same thing. All right, here's a shot on the after. foot traffic here so all right the shot of the after I'm not sure how much you could tell again this is like full sun right here um, this was a little bit more of a pain in the butt here obviously with the uh, the face the bevel getting underneath a little bit more detail work um, I think this is gonna be all right. I mean, it's gonna be what it is, right? The one thing I could say is if you use Rapid Set for a repair, you can't go over Rapid Set with mortar mix, or I'm sorry, with just uh, Portland and water, right? So again, if you use Rapid Set or any type of quick drying cement, that's a different type of cement. I'm not even sure if it actually uses Portland in the mix for that rapid set type of stuff. The Portland and water just doesn't really adhere well to it or almost at all. So that's that's a that's a that's a takeaway. So I mean if you have a repair, see this this repair here had a crack going down the middle of these stairs. I repaired it with rapid set. It, the rapid set's still fine. Um, made it through a winter, no big deal. Um, but the Portland will not adhere to it. It won't stick onto it. And then if you do it all in rapid set, it's gonna dry bright, bright white, which is not ideal. And come over to these side steps. This is, uh, again, coated these here 12 months ago. And okay, I guess you know it was a wear, it was a wear surface, right? But if it keeps that water out of the fine cracks, I think we'll be good, right? So this is what it is here. This is a maintenance item at this point, right? It's only gonna last for so long. Let's go here to the side. See how this dried up. This side wasn't that big of a deal, but again, nobody really uses this side. So, and I had limited repairs here with the rapid set. So, so that's that. We're gonna continue. We're gonna go on to the other, that little last stairway, finish that. And then there's another stairway by the school, that's the school that we that we only used Rapid Set on. So we're gonna get a look at what that looks like after 12 months of Rapid Set. That stairway, very, very heavy use and uh, very, very heavy rock salt. So come back to you with that one. I didn't spend too much time on these. On a little bit more watery, again, just a uh, Thin paint job with the Portland. This is drying up all right. Now, realistically, it fills in those fine cracks and it makes it look uh, more uniform. So, hopefully, nobody walks on it. We had some knucklehead kids already walk on it. I mean, just people are just not that freaking bright these days. Everybody's dumber than a bag of rocks, for real, man. I got cones in front of the whole thing, but that doesn't stop anybody. That doesn't make anybody think like, oh, is this wet? No, too stupid to figure it out. All right, on to the next steps. A little before, 
This was overlaid with rapid set mortar mix 12 months ago. I wet it down. The only spot that had a problem, this crack right here. I'm gonna overlay this. This is what it looked like last year. All this is exposed aggregate. So we're gonna hit this top with a nice thin layer and see how it comes out. Mix that a little bit thicker and fix that and everything else is gonna get sponge floated. That's it. Use... That's our sponge float. Get it wet. And we'll see what's, how it looks in a minute. Man, I'm tired now. All right, quick wrap up video. I ran out of rapid set. Unbelievable. So I fixed this stair here. This is curing up. We have a little rough pass on the top here. That blew out of a lot of material. Couldn't get that edge, but that edge is what the whole thing, the whole top looked like seal all the cracks did a little bit of a sponge float on that face that's there down to here right but very very light i was running out of material and i needed to i wanted to get this repair here where that chunk of concrete was missing so we get some more uh, rapid set mortar mix and uh hit that top little edge Maybe give it another feather on top and uh, sponge float these bad boys here. This again, I mean, this is a, a good example of we started with rapid set and uh, we stuck with rapid set and that's the way to go. Um, if you fix with rapid set and then try to paint with the Portland, it just doesn't seem to uh, really want to adhere, right? So that's what you got. And this is uh, the main entrance here. This is the back of the school but the buses pull up from here all the kids for this school get out on this stairway up and down every single day so hundreds of kids getting in and out of here from this one location and in the winter obviously because it's kids in the main entrance they saw i mean they cover this thing in salt like the entire thing so um this is north jersey and uh it held up i mean it held up relatively well i mean in a year the only thing that cracked was that that one uh, edge of that stair. So rapid sets uh, a pretty good solution to overlay these uh, worn out concrete steps, walkways, etc. So, but again, start with rapid set, stay with it and uh, stay away from that Portland. Unless you got a lot of it that you don't know what to do with. All right, that's that. See you on the next one.